the time for real. One Wait a minute, minute my friend until showtime. told me. Pee Wee told me that Terrell, that's the only reason why it's Terrell saved his wife. He's like, he don't me. even love her. I'm like, what? For real? Are you serious, bud? I don't know what I did with my phone. Oh. <laughs> for then real? another guy. The guy All right, so what you think? I, the guy I, I, that I went know. to school with said that he only old. stayed with his wife because... They had kids. I mean, like I said, first Damn. I stayed because I was really down there at the wild just shit. You got kids, so I might as well try to make this shit real. I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we record. <laughs> I love my wife. I know. I'm saying we, we talk about all kinds of shit. We might as well save it to the show. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like that into some extra low key uh, footage straight from the e block. We ain't even start really recording here, so you seeing some sneak peek shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just this, this uh, behind the scenes. Right. right. Shout out to, to <laughs> all zero people that's looking early. You know, nobody ever even tools in on time, let alone early. So, big up, star. Okay. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Y'all see that? You are now locked in to the live Cloud Radio Show on the planet, straight from the E Block. Let's go. to the liveest cloud radio show on the planet straight from the E Block is your boy the hood Howard Stern Q Lewis Monk Money City Shot the Hot Topic Miss Peaches <laughs> she gonna say it all so they came here Miss Peaches <laughs> what's happening we got Miss Peaches in the studio one more time just like last week so she back in the studio I... but uh you know what it is man <laughs> it's stupid it's uh it's Tweet Me Tuesday so if you got Twitter you gotta hit us up on Twitter at hood Howard Stern Real Monk Money Duh. They call me shy. I told you to stop saying that. They gonna have a Twitter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get his tweet game yeah, up, yeah, though. Yeah, Miss Peach is here two weeks in a row, but yeah, she ain't got no bro. Twitter either, so. Don't give up on me, shy. Uh, yeah. Matt not... is 77 girl at playersden.com. Hey, you know, she got Twitter. She just said a long <laughs> ass thing. <laughs> slash. Right, slash, slash underscore. <laughs> 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 no, you know, she ain't got no Twitter. Hey, but look, though, um, what was I getting ready to say, dog? Oh, yeah, it's, it's Tuesday, obviously. So we got to kick it about what, what what went down last week, over the weekend, all that good shit, man. It's going to, what's happening? I can't believe seven people got shot on the press. Yo, we going to talk about that. Yes, we are definitely 
Go talk about seven people, seven people getting shot. Seven people getting shot by a, a bra on the boat. Yeah, I heard, yeah I, heard, I heard she had somebody bring the gun up there or something. She got kicked off the bitch. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what happened? That's what this one girl had told me. Damn, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that shit went down over the weekend. We about to go through that. We going to go around the block, man. See what went down this weekend. Of course, we got Miss Peaches back in the building for two weeks in a row. So we going to go ahead and let her kick it off. You know what I'm saying? What you uh? What you had going on this weekend, Miss Peach? Hangover part one. Working on hangover part two and three, buddy. <laughs> hangover. What? All oh, because of my great cousin bringing me the 1800. That was so wonderful of you. Yeah. And now, now that was actually that was actually Thursday night. <laughs> But uh, that coconut shit is so sweet, man. I can't. Yeah. Even, coconut 18. I can't yeah. I can't yeah. Eat. She loves it. I can't drink that coconut syrup. Yeah. Really? Syrup got coconut? Yeah, it's too sweet. Yeah, they got coconut. Yeah. Take that out. <laughs> <laughs> take that out too hard. You know, fuck around, be a lush around me. <laughs> yeah, nah, other than that, though, what, what else went down for you this weekend other than that super hangover? Oh, I got a chance to take my granny to church and you okay. know, do all the good stuff for her. And yeah. Then a little drama transpired, but it was handled, I guess. Yeah, and, uh, somewhat. Yeah. yeah so, you know, it was uh, it's always good to do that. I'm taking a break from my church to serve other people. Oh, okay. You know, so. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, because you could go and serve outside of just your temple. In heaven, it ain't even no temples. I've been reading up on that. But, been reading up on that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, <laughs> it's just interesting to me, you know. Yeah. No, that's what's up. So. So, hang, so hangover in church. That's that's the right, right, right. right. I don't know if they have hangovers yeah. in heaven, but let me get my hangovers done now. So I feel yeah, get them on out the way. Right. Yeah, young shy man. What's what's popping with you, though? I ain't doing shit, man. The highlight of my um my week. Oh, oh, oh really? Well, Friday in my grandma uh driveway with Hood Howard Stern drinking <laughs> some Crown Royal Black. Crown Royal. Yeah, yeah shout out to Crown Royal Black, man. Mm, mm. Crown Royal Black in the building. Yeah, so that, that had me, I had, you know, slow motion. Had to, you know, think about how I was going to walk before I walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was supposed to go to the club that night, man. Now, this is what's funny. But, uh, you know, I went downtown. Uh, you know, it was some young stuff popping, so we went to Lucky's. Lucky's had about 30 people in there. So I man, you know, I ain't, about to, I ain't about to go and, and do this, man, my day off, man. Let's go back downtown. If ain't shit popping, we go back home. So then we ride down London, man, St. Alvin. This is the same dude I'm with who, you know, Hood Howard Stern, Monk Money, everybody be clowning. <laughs> so we ride past a flashing red light. I'm like, dog, you know, that light flashing, then you got to stop. He just kept going. Please put us over, dog. So, you know, the uh, nigga in the back seat on the wood who was crying. Well, this nigga was in the front seat, dog, <laughs> driving. See, right? see, he see, damn, see. he might as well been crying, dog. Like, officer, before the officer even said license registration, please, officer, I'm sorry. It was an honest mistake. It won't ever happen again. I got tickets I'm trying to pay on. Apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he wanted to get his car towed, man. He was crying like a bug. They took him to jail? No, he just towed his car. He gave him a choice either get his car towed or go to jail. Dang. So uh, you know, I had to wind up. I had to find a ride. Right. I had to find a ride, dog. In some cases, man, depending on how much it is to get that car, you might want to go ahead and spend them a couple nights in jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was only like 115. He said, you know, right, still well, not too bad. Still yeah. lost. Yeah. And then uh, still you know, I went home, mad, pissed off, man. Passed on the couch. Got a call like I said I wasn't gonna say it because I didn't want to embarrass her. Got a call like three in the morning. You know, saying my girl is. She got drunk for her birthday. She tripping, going crazy. I ain't going to do, you no know, detail about it. <laughs> so she go crazy. So I'm like, what the fuck, man? So yeah, that was my weekend, man. Yeah, so you got a week. You got a week after weekend. Weekend, weekend. Huh? How late my shit was sitting in the driveway, get fucked up. That was the best part of my weekend. No, low key, you know we have a lot of fun in the driveway. Yeah, yeah. Like bullshit. Yeah, man, that kind of real smooth. Let me go. Yeah, shout out to Crown Royal Black, man. In case y'all didn't know. Crown Royal Black is that deal, straight up. That shit hit you hard. Yeah, it hit you hard. So other than that, other than damn they going to jail, my man getting his car towed and, and crying in the front seat because he thought he was going to jail. Yo, that nigga was crying, sweating like crazy. <laughs> See, he was sweating. That, that night ended, dog. I'm going to say what's up to the nigga for I leave. I'll chill on the block, but we ain't going to Oh, club. that's how it goes. I'm going to go to the club by myself, dog. Damn. I mean, I mean, for real. Solo dolo. Like, well, my boy, solo dolo. Solo dolo. This weak-ass nigga, man. Come on, man. I ain't got no shirt on. You should have kept your coat on, motherfucker. Yeah. You want to pay $3? <laughs> then you sit there shaking, crying. Shut your ass up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'
I'm like, what the hell are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Are you still mad about that old shit? Yeah, that's the only oh, time man. I know that nigga from. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, nigga go to the club solo. My shirt just I'm checking out this. Uh, he go to solo dolo before he go with my yeah. man again. Yeah, I'm good. That's crazy. That's what's up, though. I have a good time, shit. <laughs> you said you have a good time. Well, definitely can't be no worse, I guess. No, it can't be. It can't be. It's going to be better, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I don't want to worry about doing no shift in the club or none of that shit. Yeah, my man do like to do shifts in the club. Dog. Now, that I can't really do. I mean, if we go get there at 9 o'clock, dog. <laughs> yeah, he want to be in that bitch from 9 to 2. Like, that's no, a no. shift. 9 yeah. to 2.30 because he going to be out there for 30 right. minutes. Right, 9 to 2.30. Yeah, that's a shift. I ain't Probably putting no shift in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Right. So what about you, my boy? What, what was popping this weekend, man? Man, I ain't do too much. Nothing, dog. I work, you know what I'm saying? Six days. You ain't work. Again, you know what I'm saying? And, but I had a good chance to get off and go to my son's game this shit Saturday. Oh, that's what's up. How did it go, dog? Oh, man. Dog. He's doing his thing. Buddy had a You look like you proud yeah. as hell. <laughs> Buddy had a lit bed. Yeah. First, first play of the game, he get a pancake and run one. My man ran right up his ass, ran one in with his off his pancake. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I was no. hell about this. He, look, he looking proud as hell. Hey, hey, no, but the dude was actually bigger than my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, I'm like, damn. I'm like, man, I, when I saw him, I'm like, oh, man, he finna have some problems with Big Buddy. Yeah. Man, first game play it to the game. First play of the game. <laughs> so, yeah. I said, wow. <laughs> Wowzers, son. He said, Wowzers. I was hollering like a mother. You know what I'm saying? I was proud, though. That was my proud moment. You know what I'm saying? About the weekend? Yeah. I feel you. Celebrate, you forgot about celebrate mom's birthday. Oh, oh definitely. Oh, yeah, gotta God. give mom's a shout out. Yeah, I'm gonna remember right. I was drunk. He's so hype about, yeah, was everybody drunk. was. I was drunk. Well, you know, my mom's birthday was the weekend, you know, mm-hmm. chill with mom, you know what I'm saying? Aunties, uncles, you know, a host of people, man. You know, we get people. together every weekend, you know. Anyway, so yeah. It's a family you and every right, weekend. Just like a regular day, really. Right. Yeah, I, I slid through that boy for a minute. Yes, yes. It was uh, it was so hot and that bitch on my forearm started sweating, so I, <laughs> I had to break out. You know what I'm saying? Cause, Take loose. Yeah, because you know I'm a, uh, I'm just a tad bit overweight, so you know, <laughs> shit. Sometimes that heat just be fucking with me. <laughs> just a tad bit, you know what I'm saying? Just a tad bit. Yeah, yeah, about three or four, five, maybe five. Yeah, three, maybe five. No, so what else you have popping off, dog? Bunch of shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm Work. Uh, Yo, I meant to ask you, did, did, did anybody go play softball on Sunday? Because you know, uh, JR fell through the block trying to see if niggas was out there playing. I ain't know. Yeah. Oh, they did go? Yeah, they played. They played. Oh, yeah, because he fell through and asked me shit. I ain't Wait, know. Playing, what, what, the the uh, ball, ball, ball duck. duck. Oh, yeah. Y'all can play ball duck Sunday, 4 o'clock. Anybody want to come out and play with us? You know what I'm saying? You're more than welcome. All right, bet. Shout out to all the softball players, man, out there in ball duck. On Sundays at 4 p.m., go out there and get drunk and act like you playing softball. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing. Shit, I ain't right. never played. Yeah. Yeah, I, I played before. I just ain't good. Shit. Yeah, I, it's like I ain't never played. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't good either. <laughs> yeah. But shit, uh, me, myself, dog, shit, I, I fell through uh, Real Monk Money's mom's little birthday celebration. Like I said, I went through there for a minute. And it was so hot to death, and that boy in my forearm started sweating. <laughs> so uh, had to break out. But uh, later that evening, I went on down to the uh, to the bowling alley downtown, down on Woodward. Uh, what's the name of that shit, dog? Oh, Majestic, the Majestic Bowl. Oh, shit. Yeah. That shit do be high as hell on the regular day. Yeah, that shit, yeah, that shit be high. You, I know you were. But, but it was cool, though, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, celebrating my little one thing's birthday, so I went down there. one thing. Yeah, my little one thing. Shout out to my one thing. Shout Happy birthday, one, one thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I spent, down, I spent uh, you know, a few hours down there bowling. Drinking and talking shit, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. Regular shit. And then uh, Sunday, she what happened Sunday? On Sunday, I fell through for a second because she was still celebrating. So she was down at Floods. Fell through that bitch for a minute. And then I just want to let y'all know, though. Floods on Sunday is fucking ridiculous, dog. Mm-hmm. Man, I had no idea that shit was that serious. Mm-hmm. I went down. First of all, I had to park down my fucking I-75. They had karaoke going on? Shit, I don't know. I could barely get in that bitch. I was yeah, in that bitch for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even I couldn't even hold out that long. It was hot. Crowded, and you know, I don't fuck around like that no more. But, um, yeah, outside, oh, yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Kida and uh, Tanisha, uh, Tim Gas, and they they uh, they both celebrated their birthdays this weekend, too. Oh, yeah, uh, shout out to my girl, her birthday was uh, Saturday, though. Yeah, see, dude, you ain't even give her yeah. a shout out, yeah. Shout out to us, girl, shit, when she called, called him and shit, uh, you know, over drunk for her birthday. 
<laughs> oh shit, we got we got Gigi in the building. What up though? Yeah. Here. But uh shit outside that man, that was really about it. Highlighting my weekend was doing that little bowling thing and shit in there. Thursday night, you know what I'm saying? Kicked him with Miss Peaches and she got her nice and drunk there. off that uh, 1800 coconut. That's what's, Ooh, yeah, so that's what's happening. Sorry. But, uh, shit, outside that, man, the thing is, man, we just gonna jump on into the to the subject because it's just some, some crazy shit I was looking at because I'm always watching TV, though. You know, I'm right. always watching TV. Right, right. So I just happened to be watching that, that show. What the fuck? What was the name of that show, though? Oh, you talking about the. Um yeah, with the two, two brothers. Yeah, uh, anyway. Whatever. It's an old show that don't come on no more. They just got to talking about why they was trying to figure out why dudes, especially black men, that's what they was concentrating on, why dudes uh, stick with women that they don't love. Like, why do they do it? So then they was talking about all kind of stuff. So I just figured, you know what, We I want to talk about this because the, the, the black family especially, but all families though, I mean, they're pretty much being reduced to single parent homes. You know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to figure out if... Uh, once she get pregnant, is that good enough reason, you know what I'm saying, to, to stick it out with her, even if you don't love her no more? Right, right. So, yeah, that, that's where we at with ours. If you've been following us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, then you know what the topic is today. So, we're going to call in 760-283-4647. And if you don't, if you don't have it already, <laughs> hit that number one key so you can holler at us, though. We want to know, man, if she get pregnant and you don't love her, is it a good enough reason to stick around? And we're going back to this uh, commercial break real quick. If you're on Ustream, dog, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. Please don't forget, you got about a month left before that spoken word, Billboard Awards. Your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, will be hosting. All right, so check out the commercial. We'll be back in one minute. <laughs> Coming live, a show-stopping, red carpet walking, elegant award show, oh, September 29th, to a Metro Detroit I theater, is the hottest award show of the year. It's the first annual Spoken Word Billboard Awards, celebrating the hot 100 ranking artists from across the globe, in the elegant facility of the Village Theater, in Canton, Michigan, featuring performances by R&B sensation, Laurie Edwards, hip-hop phenomenon, Zach One, soul singer, Stephen Guy White, spoken word artist Romeo Donati, Bennett Blues musician Elvin Lloyd Horn, poet Jamie McConnell, vocalist Alfreda Castillo, poet Don Touch Artist Register, spoken word artist Jazzy Sadil, and so many more. Be prepared for sheer entertainment that will touch every possible human emotion in your body, making you thirsty and already anticipating the next year's event. Tickets are $25 and are available through the Village Theater box office. Call 734-394 5300 to reserve your tickets today. <laughs> Yo, you know what it is, man. We back in the building, dog. If you just joined us on Ustream, you know you got to call in 760-283-4647. Holler at us on this, con I mean, on, on this hot topic right now. Uh, now, like we normally do, we're going to go around the block and see what's on everybody's mind. But uh, want to take that one caller first? Want to do that first? All right. All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. We'll go straight to the phone lines before we get to put our two cents involved. Uh, so let's hit it up. I got 313-645. You on live straight from the E-Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? Hey. What's up? What up, though? Hey, this is Panda. What's up, Monk? What up, though? Hey, you all right? How you doing? Good. I think that just because you get uh, somebody pregnant and you don't love them, that is not a reason to stay together. And what about the? Uh, I mean, what about the whole concept of family, though? That, that's that's not that's not important. Well, you can be a family without being together. If the parents are going to be arguing and not show their kids love, you know what love is all about. That could be more damaging to. Uh, the children then um, separated, being yeah. separated and having a cordial relationship and a loving relationship, each of them with their child. I've been married for 32 years, wow. and we've always wow. made it a point <laughs> not, to fight in front, not to fight in front of our kids. We tried the hardest as we could to not, you know, of course there's always little arguments, um, but we still have love for each other, and um, it's worked out well. Okay. But if you if you're always arguing and you don't have love for that person, what's that going to show your children right. to settle? Right. It's going to show them to settle for less than they you know to live without passion and live without love. 
it's not a good thing to show your kids. That's what's up. Awesome. I, 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 I can dig that. Appreciate the call, Lynn. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, thanks uh, for the call, though, baby. Mm. All right, I'll see you. All right, All right man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh... All right, so we're going to go around the block and see what everybody else has. I mean, I, I do have an opinion about that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, before we go around the block. I definitely, I, I understand that. I understand that 100%. But there's people who, who I, I guess they assume they love each other and shit. They've been together for years and shit. They do a lot of arguing. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference, though? Like, I, I don't really, I don't get it. What's the difference? I mean, she she basically saying, like, you showing all these kids you hate you guys for each other because y'all arguing back and forth, bickering every day. You know what I'm saying? She's saying it would be a better situation if if we not together, you know, we still love our kids the same way, each other. Mm -hmm. That part, that probably, you know, be lighter on them fucking mm -hmm. we arguing in front of them every 10 minutes. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I guess. But but then the the thing that... I don't know. I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not saying. I'm saying that, that that's a good solution. That's yeah. good, you know. I mean, definitely. It's just that you know, back in the day, it used to be like, she she get pregnant. It's a wrap. Uh, we yeah. just married, and you just living yeah. your life. Yeah. And I don't know if that was a good or a bad thing. I don't know if it's no worse than just always being able to have that that uh you know that option out. <laughs> it's like I think too many people use that option out as a. I mean, that's, that's I don't know. That's the option out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't man. know. A lot of people do, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you know what, what I'm going to say, it all boils down to. Who you, you know with? Yeah. 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 And who you not wearing a condom with. You <laughs> should <laughs> know who you, who you, who yeah, you yeah. wear first and shit. So, if you, you know yeah. what I'm saying, going to take that chance on knocking yeah. it down without that condom, you kind of dumb anyway. Like, like nowadays, though, people, though, they play, you know, they shoot dice with their dick. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I, For real. I don't know. I know with me what, you know. We was we were straight at first, had the baby and stuff, and then after a while, you know, the relationship started falling apart and shit. I should have been dipped out, but I just, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> stay just because of the kid, and I didn't want to be that typical baby mama, baby daddy shit. Yeah. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, you know, be different from anybody else who I had knew that was around my age. Right. I was trying to try last, make it last and make it work, but shit, that shit got old, so I had to go <laughs> ahead and dip out, man, to the bed, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, so, uh, Miss Pieces, what you think? I'm you just look? all into this Usher video. Like, <laughs> Usher came on, like, damn, the such. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know because, well, I do know. From my perspective, I wouldn't, if the if the relationship is not healthy and there are children involved, then I cannot subject my children mm -hmm. to any kind of hurt. Um, when this is that, that's that's controlled. You understand what I'm saying? Because you, that's affecting their upbringing. That's mm -hmm. that's affecting your kids' mentality. And so when you have certain things around your children, then they'll grow up to believe that either they'll go to the extremities of either being in a relationship that was as hazardous as the relationship that they grew up under, or mm -hmm. either they'll go the total opposite, opposite way. way. Yeah. So you have to really consider how what kind of effect this what kind of toll this will take on not just you but your children too because there may come a time where you want to get out the relationship and then how would you heal from it it's all it's more than just you involved in this party you and this other person involved in this party so you got to take into consideration that it ain't just about you yeah, that's, that's what's up, man. Some people you wear should be having that mask on while you knock them up. Yeah, you think yeah. they good? Well, that's man. that's everything. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> wear that mask at the beginning of a relationship. Period. The wheels fall off. So like, I know with my uh, with my mom and dad, man, they was man, every, when coming up. I seen them argue all the time, every day, damn near. And I used to have to talk her into leaving them and stuff, dog. Because like, if it was like that when I was a baby, then she must have just tried to work it out for us. Because yeah. them, them niggas used to get down like every day arguing. Like crazy. Right? But then you do have a question like when you're involved in a relationship and you have two parties that's on the same, le you know, same uh, relational level that want to pan out their differences. In any kind of relationship, you it requires work. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't just give up and just walk away. You know what? Fuck you, I'm done. <laughs> I, mean, well, I mean, that's basically what that's, it's like, though. That's why, that's why people don't get to fucking know each other. Yeah. yeah, you don't get to know each other. If you knew this person was like this <laughs> two years ago, you wouldn't marry their ass. Right. Right. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Get to know them. No, people yeah. go move too fast. Yeah. I know we had my kid, man. We stayed at my mom. She said, "Watch when y'all move 
you just you gonna really find out about somebody y'all moving together and y'all be having your own crib, whatever. I mean, I seen what was real. Like, yeah, this motherfucker is crazy. Like, <laughs> this, what was real. this yeah. nigga is crazy. We got our own crib, and I gotta be around all the time. We arguing around my little son every day. Right. You got you got something on that? I had to peace out, man. You got something on that? Or are you good for real? I'm good right now. I'm just, all right. I, I, you know, right, we, I, we'll, we'll come back to Gigi and ask you that shit, ready? Huh? What about you, man? We got to go all the way around. We got to get him on money. He wasn't done yet. Oh, okay. My bad. Was it? No. no. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody no. trying to put on me, even though we do have some more callers to tell you. But go ahead. Take the call. Well, take the call. We <laughs> want to do like I do, now. <laughs> all right. Hey, don't forget, man. If you're on Ustream, you got to hit us up. We want to know what you're thinking. 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. We're going to shoot back to the phone lines real quick, though. I got a uh, 313-742. You on live. Straight from the E-Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? Q, what's the deal, dog? What up, though? This is your boy, man. Oh, what's happening, boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the deal, man? You all right? Man, yeah, I'm, I'm good, dog. See, where you been at? Hi. Man, working, taking care of kids, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Shit, that's, that's what we talking about today. <laughs> oh, what's the, hey, what's the topic, man? Because I, I ain't even get a chance to check it out on Facebook. Uh, what we talking about is uh, if uh, if you with your mate and she get pregnant, is that a good enough reason to stay with her even if you don't love her? I, okay, take it from a personal experience. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hell no. No, so I mean, what if, what, you, what, if what if it's gonna like benefit this, the kid though? Like you said what now? What if it what if it's beneficial for the kid that y'all stay together? I'm gonna say it like this: two people, just just because you have a kid does not mean you need to be together. Because if you think about it, if you don't really want to be with that person, you there just for the kid. Both of y'all are not gonna be happy, and then it's gonna end up rubbing off on the kid somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I you know, because I, I know that. back in the day, back in the day, like in the 50s and 60s, when dudes got girls spreading, you know, it was like a life sentence, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. spreading, got to get married. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the divorce rate didn't start going up until all those people had kids hit like 18, 19. That's when the divorce rate started going up. Because the dudes didn't they had to do to stay with the wife, but after that, they was like, they done. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't even thought about it like that. Yeah. Uh, damn. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I hadn't even thought about that. The baby boomers. Uh -huh. And then, too, you know, it's like, man, you, you can raise a kid happily without being together. You know, you want to have that uh, yeah. nuclear family, you yeah. know, mom, dad, two and a half kids and a dog. But, <laughs> hell, this is 2012. It ain't rolling like that no more. Yeah. There's so many blended families out there. It's ridiculous. And then, too, when the value system has changed, it don't make sense to be together for the wrong reason. Because a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons anyway. Yeah. You know, so when it comes to role being a kid, if y'all can be friends and live in separate households and maintain like that, do it. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's you know, up, dog. What he was saying, I totally agree because back in the day, if you know, you can remember, even oh, if man. you watch some movies, it'll tell you how women used to try to, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> women used to try to trap a guy uh -huh. by getting pregnant by him. He said back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> I mean, that's like, you know, I'm talking about. Hell yeah, back in the day. Damn, <laughs> well, you can't have, you can't throw the towel on, let the girl throw the towel away no more. You better wrap it up and burn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burn it. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up, dog. See, boy, man. Thanks for your call, boy. Appreciate it, dog. <clears throat> hey, man, no problem, dog. I'll tell you, man. For sure. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> my man. I'll have right. him in a, in a minute. But yeah, you say, uh, <laughs> Definitely not. Now, I mean, most of the answers men definitely know. I mean, I'm going to get into what I think in a minute, okay, though. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, well, yeah, I'm going to go, go, man. Yeah, you go ahead and go. <laughs> like I said before, dog, people need to get to know one another, dog. Y'all move too fast, dog. And then you moving fast with the condom looking right there. You looking at the condom <laughs> in it already. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just ridiculous, dog. When I spent your money yeah, on it and everything. You bought it, stopped at the gas station. You know, yeah. Then get gas, you got to give me one of them, them condoms over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and still in your pocket. You know? <laughs> yeah, and the switches. Yeah, you no, know, no. And back in the day, like like my man was saying, back in the day, dog, when you got a chick pregnant, you know what I'm saying? It was it for you, dog. You fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You either deal with it and keep it pushing, or shit, 
get a well, whole deal with it. Or, or get a whole lot of more people. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. back in the day, they had kids by the bowl, you know what I mean? <coughs> My grandma had 15, dog. Yeah, you know it, was, it was quite and, a few of them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a quite a few of them. Quite know, a few. Too. So, you know. They had kids like littles. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like puppies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, everybody back to back to back to back to back. Right. You know, Damn, right. you know. But, man, people. But they have their household. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Big Daddy. You know who Big Daddy is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know who Big Daddy is. Mm -hmm. You know, his granddaddy. He ain't bullshit, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. And, and a lot of kids are, are losing out on that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. All, all that guidance. but That was structured living. Yes, it was. Exactly. But, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, shit is totally, totally, totally different. You know what I'm saying? People need to open their eyes up, dog. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be like Big Daddy. You just got to be in their life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. They got to be like Big Daddy. Because it's different now. You know what I'm saying? But you just need to be in their life, dog. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes, I was having a conversation with a dude at work, man. You know, and I was telling him how, like, dog, like, like, we the only race that don't stick together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm looking all of this, you know, I'm poly, you know, he like, we the only race that don't stick together, dog. You know, he's like, yeah, dog, it's a white dude. He's yeah. Like, yeah, you know, in the white, in the white community, dog, it's frowned upon to have a baby and walk away from it. Yeah. He said, it happened a lot in your hood. I'm like, all right. They do. Shit, you right, cuz. Right, you can't, you can't, can't, deny, you can't, can't, can't yeah, deny it. You can't deny it. You can't be mad or nothing. You can't be mad or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it's the truth. That's you know what I'm saying? I don't agree. That's another subject. That's another topic. But it's a lot of it's a lot of different races that just are not as well, not as much as uh, us. Not, 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 not as, as much as, as us, us. But it not is as much different. As us. You know, no, like, right? And that's and that's what's weird about it is. Is we we don't equal as many as them, mm -hmm. but we still outnumber them in certain shit. Well, when you go so back that, that to slavery, it was simple. I mean, it's simple because when you go back to slavery, people the men had to be uh, you know shipped off before the women, some women mm -hmm. or whatever, and then women bred kids from different men and all that kind of stuff because of massa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. I mean, I ain't using it as no cop out. I'm, I'm really not. But they label like, hmm. They label some men as mandingo men. <laughs> Back in you know the ancient right. times, they labeled them as mandingo men because they had the you know stamp. They had what it took to go ahead and produce the babies or whatever, and get you know keep reproducing, but. <laughs> That was just off on something else. It really was. It was. Hey, it was. Yeah. 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 Obviously, yeah. somebody got Mandingo on the line. Yeah. 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 I don't know what Mandingo is. Shout out to my cousin, Kenny. Mandingo, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. No, but seriously. Wow. Wow. When you um, <laughs> when you look back, we were separated from our family members during slavery time. Yeah. So that's the kind of trend, you know. That was what was going on back then. So that's why it's more prevalent in the African American community. I can say that that's one of the reasons. I feel that it, it could be that. Way. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I guess. Yeah. Guess what we got though. We got a million and a half excuses. Yeah. So back to what I was getting ready to say. No, so this, this is my thing. This is my theory. Of course. Uh, of course, no, you don't want to be with somebody that you don't love just because of the baby. Blah, they split. But I think uh, black people, white people, everybody, I think in this day and age, it's, just, it's way too easy to give up on shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. give a fuck about trying That's to true. fix anything. All right. So, all right, we got differences. I'm going to have differences even if we didn't have a kid. Mm -hmm. And then what's the difference between... Cause, Cause I I I hear a lot of ladies saying this, and they saying, "Well, we don't want to be in a house fighting in front of kids." Blah, they split. Dog, what's the difference when he live over here with Keisha and shit, and yeah. when he come to pick her up, you fucking arguing? Yeah. So what's the difference, dog? You didn't you didn't take that yeah. you didn't take it away. Yeah. Shit, every time every time the kids see mama and daddy, they still arguing whether you live in the same house or not. So what did you what did you fix? Exactly. I, I mean, me personally, I had to learn that. Yeah. I had to learn that myself. You right. know what I'm saying, and I'm. Me and her are on is cool now. Like, yeah. We don't even argue took about thirteen. Us. We <laughs> right, right. It took thirteen years, but we cool now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we don't, we argue, but we argue at him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, about so, shit. He yeah, needs to be arguing. Yeah, 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 we argue at him. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's a whole different world. And people got to make changes, though. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard to make a change, though. And then... You're doing the same shit to keep tripping, you know what I'm saying? And then what, what I also don't like, too, I'm going to go ahead and say this, because it's a man's show. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and it's going to be unpopular. Okay, pop. We'll do you know what I'm saying? It's going to be unpopular. Pop, but pop, pop, I think pop. I think what it is, though, is is a, a, a lot of women get this situation confused, though. So, and I think they confuse their kids. And what I need women to understand is... Is that just because that man don't live in the house, he don't all of a sudden get extra shit to do. Because right. I just want to say that because yeah. when when he, when he's paying child Preach. support and you call him for extra shit Preach. and he don't do it and you get mad, Preach. how you going to get mad? Because if y'all was married, this same nigga would be living in your house Preach. doing the same shit. But you can't take him to court for that shit because you married. Yeah, yeah. So just it just so happens I was, I was watching TV again today because I was yeah. off today. That was after I voted. Uh, if you niggas is listening right now, you didn't go out and vote. Yep. Don't holler. Same on you. Right. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I was watching. Uh, I was watching Judge Joe Brown. So this lady had her son on there, and the husband. I mean, uh, the ex-husband or whatever. You know, baby daddy, whatever. They took dude to court because he promised to buy. No, he told his son he was gonna buy him a car, and he came into some hardship. He couldn't afford it, so she. This is how she said it. she loaned her son the money for the baby daddy to pay her back. So guess what? This your son, right? That nigga need a car. So you buy his fucking car. So just because this nigga don't live there, all of a sudden he obligated to buy a car. But I don't get it, man. Ain't paying child support. Any paying child support. No, so dude on disability. Right? Dude on disability getting a thousand dollars a month. They taking four hundred and some of that every month. Who wanted settlement? Oh, they. Uh, he dismissed it. Mm -hmm. He was like, no. He told my man, he was like, oh, you better get you a summer job and pay your mama back. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Shit. Uh, for real. For real. For real. What? For real. That's why I said, that's why these kids are so fucking misguided. Yeah. Because you motherfuckers give them so many excuses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to work hard and go out and get you some money and get your fucking right. car. You put it on your on the daddy that's over here broke as shit because it's time <laughs> for eating his ass. Or, or even if it wasn't that. He, could, he, could be, he could be daddy broke as fuck at the crib who then lost his job. Yeah. What was you going to do then? You yeah. going to take him to court then yeah. for not buying yeah. your kid a, yeah. a car? Like, what the no. fuck? Where they do that at? Because your, so, your money uh, be his money. Right. So first, first is like, well... We can't we can't do this together, so we need to split ways. But then we split ways. Not I'm, I'm demanded to do extra shit. Where right. where did it happen? Right. So I guess the, the saying is true. Shit, where it's cheaper to keep her. It's it true. It, it, it really is. And it's cheaper to keep her, but if ain't no love there, man. Yeah, like I got I'm with I'm with I'm with Hood Howard Stern. Yeah, yeah, you gotta give it a try, dog. Yeah. You gotta give it a try. Niggas just be rolling out. Bell out, dog. Bell out quick. I know a chick right now. She five months and she like we already broke up. What time is that? Right, right. came out like damn. Five and then, like she should learn because this is the second second uh, baby she had with second dude and both of these dip. Damn. This nigga dip before you even get the motherfucker out your womb. <laughs> like what the so, is, what the fuck is going on? Like, That's crazy, dog. And my thing is, dog, is niggas fuck. It's females fuck because y'all know who y'all laying with, dog. Even though you don't want to be with this motherfucker, rap that shit. That's your type. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. thing is. Yeah, I ain't about yeah. to sit here and and and, and, and go in this. I know I like this motherfucker. I just want to be. And, and you know what I'm saying? That shit, you can be at the club. I just want to get a nut off. I ain't about to sit here and motherfucker going this motherfucker raw. Right. And then right. have a baby and then we both mad at each other. Have a kid. Mad, right, he yeah. ain't get no love. We hate each other. Yeah. We look at the kid like that. And that kid grow up. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the movie theater and shoot up <laughs> 45 people. Exactly. That's yeah. 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 the Batman yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. now yeah. the crazy thing about that shit though is that these don't even be them situations. These, it be people that in love. It be, yes, no, it be people <laughs> with miscommunication. Yeah, exactly. you got you got a motherfucker sitting here thinking that all is good. That nigga love me, this, that, other, all the time. He kind of, you know, kind of feeding you that shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. like my situation though. Like I say, hey, buddy, man, you better dip. But like I say, I wanted to shit defeat the odds, nigga. Had this shit last. So me too. Me like, too. Shit, I got. Too. I, I let my daddy dumbest, and my mama. Dumbest shit I ever did yeah. in my life. You know? <laughs> me too. <laughs> And what well, we did for what? We did. I mean, but right, but both, but both of y'all gave it a decent effort. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like you said, dog. I'm married. She, she yeah. five months pregnant and the dude dip already. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so here's the thing. She's <laughs> ready to talk. Uh oh, uh oh. She got something to say now. I'm ready to talk now. All right, let's hear it. First of all, there's a right way and a wrong way to do everything. Mm. If you, if your intent is never to be with this person to begin with. Whether y'all have a child or not, mm -hmm. don't pump them up with that false hope. Right. And then once the baby get here, you want to do you, but then still, you know, you still stringing baby mama along. That's not fair. Right. That's not fair to her. 
That's not even fair to your dumb ass, but you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That's not fair to the child. That's not even fair to a new relationship you're trying to pursue. True. Number one, if you, you know, you had this baby or whatever, you don't have no intentions on being there, you never had no intentions on being there, that should have been squared away as soon as you see the motherfucking plus sign on the stick. <laughs> the like, look, sign. you know, I want to be here for my kid, but I really didn't plan on all of this, you know, whatever. Yeah. But if you... Faking, playing that raw. I mean, you got the script down to a fucking T. Exactly. And guess what, baby mama thinking? Right. We exactly. Family. We're family. Yeah. We're fucking family. Yeah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? But then on the flip side of that, when you trying to do something different, oh no, this is just my baby mama, or you know, and you know, you're Stevie to, J. Yeah, convenience. <laughs> just yeah, using it to your convenience. It's just my baby mama. Then it's not fair to the new person because like. If that's not your intent and you're not trying to be there, you're not trying to be a family, don't keep telling me that. Why baby mama don't know that? Right, why, exactly. Why the new chick got to be to your that. phone <laughs> ringing all fucking night because baby mama slash your woman, nigga, is blowing you up. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? That's right. why you keep so, doing them dates, GG. No, but this is this is the thing, though. <laughs> stupid. This is what happened. Miscommunication is there because you wasn't man enough to stand up, handle your business, how, however you wanted it to go down. Right. Because you could have told baby mama easily, okay, yeah, I want to be here, I want to be a family, but I, I don't want to be with you. Right. And then y'all would have had that understanding, you right. know, from jump. And then, you know, new chick. Okay, this is what it is, you know, woo, woo, woo. So now new chick know where you coming from. But in the end, it's like you fuck yourself all up in the game trying to have your cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. nine times out of ten, you got somebody new being introduced to a situation. I mean, they know how to deal from that point. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You could have been and had a good friend, a potential lover, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but you done fucked out all of that up trying to have your cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did so at that. the end of the day, you end up fucking up all the way around. And you, you know, you can't dip back to the baby mama because she mad and she bitter. You can't dip, you know, to new girl because she see where you're coming from. So she either going to spin your ass on the same game you spin her or either y'all going to try to bring y'all life together. And, and that's going to be Just shit ain't going to work out, she, yeah. She, baby mama hate her because she done chick, she done cheated with and you hate the baby mama. <laughs> yep. And it's, it's the fucking baby involved. So right. it's never going to work, you know, like that. So I just think flat out from day one, like I said, as soon as you see that plus sign on the stick, stay what it is. Say what you mean to me, what you say. Sure. It's not, you're not a fucking sure. uh, coward or a wimp for wanting your family. If you want that, say that. Be a man about that. But when you try to dip back and flip and play all the fucking games, then that's when it comes to bite you on the ass because, like I said, you will be solo, baby mama will be on the next baby daddy. Right. And the new chick will be going on about her business or spending you on your fucking weekend game because she don't want... <laughs> She don't want you and that bullshit coming into her life. Because right. guess what? Now it's a bitter baby mama. It's a child involved. Y'all can't even move on and have a future together because as soon as she get mad, she hitting you with child support. You know what I'm saying? So uh, everybody, better, everybody, better, right? everybody, everybody better. better. Everybody better. Right? Everybody better. Everybody better. All the confusion. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, that need to be established from the before y'all even get to you know, that. Just come just a, up on period. That need to be established first. I mean, right. So just basically piggyback on what you say, shit. You saying that that need to be clarified from the plus on the stick. That shit need to be verified before, before that. All that. Exactly. Because if I'm sitting here telling you I love you and you my girlfriend, all of a sudden you get pregnant. And I and love I'm fuck with you. Yeah, that's <laughs> and, uh, my attention wasn't. Uh, right, like you was my girlfriend until you got pregnant. I don't fuck with pregnant yeah. chicks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm allergic. Like I'm, I'm allergic to kids. <laughs> You got a part in the movie, you only play one fucking part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So stick to your script. I, I don't know. Eddie Murphy played all the clumps, so he just out here. <laughs> 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 she been fooling there, right? I don't know, baby. But Buddy Love came up off that ass, too, right? Buddy Love. Buddy Love. I don't know. Eddie Murphy, they played all the clumps. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I'm just saying, like, that, that communication and all that love, and all of that, whatever mm-hmm. that's supposed to be, that should be established before you go any further into mm-hmm. a fucking relationship. Right. You, should, you, you shouldn't see that plus on the stick and say, damn. Right. You should see that plus on the stick like, hell yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if y'all together. If y'all together. You know what I'm saying? If y'all do that. But if you motherfucker, like, 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 your child said, if you going to the club and you just wanted the nut, 
Man, get the car, man. Put it on. <laughs> right. Put, put it on. on. He said, don't just get it. Don't get it, but put it on. Because they talk about pussy rule the world, pussy rule the world. Y'all don't know what y'all got. A pussy ain't nothing without a dick. Because if I got a good one, man, going to talk to me and make me do what I need to do. So the world can't even function without it. So my thing is this. If you out here laying and playing and doing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, Turn, turn these females out, you know what I'm saying? Giving them that false hope. Then what you expect to get? Exactly. Yeah, well, I don't well, know what you. You asking for trouble. Yeah. You're you asking it. for trouble. You, you making a big pot of shit. Right. <laughs> you making it. And then, have to eat. And then I think, I think what, what a lot of dudes say, well, at least from what I heard, you know, a lot of dudes would be like, you know, I, I guess maybe maybe the female changed after she had a kid, shit like that. But man, all women change at some point. Like, they go through stages. So even if she had no kid, if you like I said, if you gas her up, telling her you love her and we together, then she get pregnant, then you dip out. I mean that's just you know that's just kind of weak though. Now if y'all if y'all legitimately you know what I'm saying just growing apart like cause cause marriages grow apart like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you've been with him with a motherfucker for twenty years and just be like you know what dog. I'm straight on this shit. You know, that's different. <laughs> I'm, glad, but, I'm glad man went apart in two months. And two, <laughs> two months. <laughs> <laughs> bitch went apart in two months. Like, wheels just fell off. But like, at, like, at the same time, too, like I said, because of, because of everybody's <laughs> mentality about, you know what I'm saying, no, I don't do it if you're not in love kind of thing, I think it give it give a lot of people the, you know, the easy the easy cop out to say, well, you know, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. I, I mean, back in the day, I mean, like you said, things have changed. But back in the day, Shit, it wasn't acceptable to say, like, yeah, I ain't yeah, fucking with her because I don't love her. Yeah. When you got a baby in park. Shit, it was just niggas, she got a baby. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Right, because that's how it was with, with all of our, like, grandparents and, and shit like that. That's why we they, they got a, a million kids and shit and half of them don't even like each other to this day. Right. But they raised us, though, and the shit worked out for us. Yeah. But we don't want to do that shit, though. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Like I said, I know. We need to bring that old shit back, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But we, but 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 honestly, don't you ain't gotta be like Big Daddy, dog. But you know but why? Why? I mean, you don't have to. Why? Dog. Because. Because what? All you gotta do is show some love, dog. Being them kids, yeah. life, bro. That's, like That's the it, world bro. Kind of messed up because you lose. Yeah, a lot of people are shit creating family. Off of ideas as opposed to sticking with the standards, mm -hmm. the standardized structure of family living. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't nobody want to stick to the standardized no, no more. No. Nobody, nobody. It's like it's against the rules to do yeah. that shit. No, like, but they, if, they if, been with if, for thirty three years, if Jim still didn't stick like to the plan, if Ford didn't stick to the plan, if Chrysler didn't stick to the plan, all these niggas be out there. shit would have been a crash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. These are companies that we talking about. The Ford family. Look at the Ford it's family. Not the really? Word, plan. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a plan and whatever it is you do. And whatever it is. It's the right way and the wrong way to do everything. If you're gonna bounce, it's the right way. If you're gonna stay, it's the right way. Right. Because don't leave nothing all assed out and then you expect to live a peaceful life. You know, like baby mama ain't gonna trip. No, yeah. that bitch But then these women, so, I'm, I'm here to out. tell you, a lot of women. Had these families too, and they had a mind. Some women had a mind made up that, um, you know, I'm strong enough to carry this load on my own, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then some women, some women settle because just like you had a baby mama and, and you got the girlfriend or whatever, shit, the girlfriend could tell old boy, shit, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. do you know what I am? Do you know what I'm about? Do you know what I got? Right, I'm about to show you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you have more women that just stood up for themselves and believed in themselves and yeah. believed that they don't need this motherfucker <laughs> and get the fuck on, right. it wouldn't be no, yeah. it wouldn't be but wrong for that, it. That's a, that's a yeah. very yeah. fine line. Yeah. It is well, a fine well, line, but it's reality because if you stay in this shit too long, then you gonna, you gonna end up being hurt way more than what you anticipated on being. I yeah, I, I, hey, investments are, are just like when you invest in the stock market, man. But it's you know what I mean? Man, hold on, hold on. For one, it's a man show, man. You ain't got shit out here and you empty and you tired of giving and all that. Sometimes you can make the wrong investment because that could have been your last. And don't get it twisted, women fuck up too, cause we 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 are bashing men though, like a motherfucker. Yeah. Though. I mean, women, saying, women, 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 women throw salt in the game like a motherfucker. Be that's, crazy. Why, that's why I say that's women a thin line because you got some women yeah. who who so. 
who's so in the, independent, independent or they so independent. Not even independent, independent, just that so many niggas have fucked over. You know? They're insecure. That too, they, they're insecure, so they won't even let the, you know what I'm saying, the right one be close to them. Yeah. So, I mean, the dude might not even be trying to step off of shit. The, the most shit you're doing, push them away, yeah. though, that you don't even realize. Yeah. Though. I mean, like I said, you can't. Of course, there's some added responsibilities when you have a kid. Of course, everybody knows that. Everybody. Knows. But once you have a kid, dog, you can't you can't flip it into some like like now all of a sudden. Let me see. I want to say it now. First of all, the nigga that moved in your house, he ain't had shit when you met him. <laughs> all right, you paying for the nigga, you taking care of him. Now you had his baby. All of a sudden, you think he's supposed to become Superman the ultimate Superman. provider? Yeah. Who Superman. you who was you fucking with at first? So now you're going to try to flip the script and make him be the ultimate provider. Guess what he going to do? <laughs> he going to step the hell off. Because yeah. he ain't used to that. You've been taking care of him this long. Yeah. That's yeah, it. But like you said, back in the day, though, people was having kids like the right way. Like Most kids being born on some bullshit. Yeah. It's too many young motherfuckers having you kids. You know, and, and, and to, damn be, thing. to be honest with you, I believe that if we had um, a poll, if we had a whole lot of, not even a whole lot, if you got like three old, old couples, mm. They'll let you know that they, they reality wasn't always hunky dory. Right. You know what I mean? but, but they stay together. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah, we don't stay we don't do that shit. That's, what, that's what made them so strong, dog. Can you have a kid, come on. They 19, stick it out, dog, no matter what situation it is, dog. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why why we can't do yeah, it? We can we can't. But, but I'm saying a lot too, though. No, I'm not. I'm, if you don't love this person, you just gonna stick around. A lot of, hey, it. Lot of no, your grandparents man. don't love each other. Like, right. Get used nigga. to it. <laughs> man, nigga. I, nigga, I was raised around love on both on both ends. Nigga. Just because they ain't fighting in front of y'all, don't mean. Right. No, <laughs> you know, that's what they presented to y'all. And that's yeah. good. Was and then, that's, and and then that's when you get old, that's you feel like a little Yeah, yeah. But that's the way it was. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's yeah, good. They, they, they didn't argue. I've seen some shit happen like that, dog. You My know mom what and daddy argue. A, fa- like, a, a family member of mine, dog. You know what I'm saying? Went through some shit that I didn't even know he went through, and I was around the shit, and they was on the verge, I guess, of dipping off and breaking up. But I guess they let that shit last, and and shit, they happily married right now. They made it through, and they take you care of what they doing. You make. It, and I didn't even know this shit till I heard. Like my mom said, you know, you're going through a little problem. Like damn, right? No, yeah, for a lot of time you was there. Yeah, I'm, I'm around <laughs> and shit. Like damn, right. then I look back. Like okay, I see why that shit happened. Mm-hmm. But then like, now, like they, 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 they good. They ain't one. Yeah. Like, you gotta crawl before you walk. People <laughs> think they shit but just then gonna they, happen they so, make so like this. That's why other. people move so fast. They make decisions like this. You gotta crawl before you walk, man. You know what I'm saying? You y'all making these trying to make these big dumb ass steps <laughs> when you can make you, you can make you can move at a medium <laughs> speed and still be efficient hey, back, back in the day man i had uh when i was working my corporate america job at at&t selling cell phones uh <laughs> it was it was a lady it was a lady in line who was who was very impatient and i just had to let her know though this is my theory on things like if it wasn't for the invention of the microwave dog when nobody in here be mad, though. You know why? Because <laughs> the microwave that thought that made motherfuckers think that shit can happen just <laughs> like that. <laughs> so he's like, ever since the invention of the microwave, dog, before that, niggas was putting shit in the oven. You had to heat the oven up. You had to wait. Yes. But ever since the microwave, you had to wait for no, shit. All this around. Yes, dog. My motherfucker <laughs> moved too fast, man. Slow the fuck down, dog. You can move at a medium speed and still be and still food. get there. Instead yeah. of keep going fast and fucking shit up. Keep going fast and fucking shit up. That's why you still my, my, uh, my <laughs> no, baby mama. Dog. She wants shit to happen. I'm like, dog, we at the time I'm like, we 22. Yes, we right. got time for this shit to, yeah. make, to, to work, yeah. dog. Don't sit here and be thinking I'm supposed to have a, a million dollar job and shit. Yeah. I'm fucking 22. Like, you you See, build but a that's what I'm talking about. You, you, ain't, you ain't had no million dollar job before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. I was average, but all of a sudden, now. Yeah, average money and shit. My right. thing is, though, like I said, relationship with life, with anything, you gotta just motherfucking take your time, be patient. Yeah. Yeah. That shit build up. You gotta build a relationship. But that's how most women is, though. They go in a relationship thinking that this shit supposed to move fast. Man. Everything supposed to be straight and this, that. Yeah. That take time, man. I seen my yeah. mom and dad go through some shit. We stayed in a fucking attic, a room, nigga, all that shit. Uh-huh. She didn't dip on that nigga because shit, he was, he was doing what he could do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. why like, most of these females don't have no patience to see if the nigga gonna sit here and make out the dirt. Man. They want that nigga go from a motherfucking from a baby to a fucking tit. Nigga, what's that nigga? Yeah. Bill Gates or some shit. Yeah. And then, you know, some, niggas, mean, some niggas don't deserve a chance, though. No, sure. some niggas don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 some niggas don't. Some niggas yeah. don't deserve some a chance. Some niggas that really want to do something with themselves, yeah. and you just want to say, fuck it, I'm going to go to the dope, man. Instead yeah. of going to this nigga that got a fucking a job. Yeah, now you got to be serious. like Tyrese and shit. Yeah. <laughs> fuck with baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's but you, why I Building relationships, bro. You got you can't move so fast. You got build relationships. But before you build the relationship, communicate. Just open up and let you know. Some men don't have a, you know, um, 
they feel like they don't have the leverage to open up and, and talk because they think what a woman going to think like. Or is she not going to be able to handle this truth? Right. Yeah. When all you got to do is just be true. honest. <laughs> 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 be honest. No, no, you have to because I'm telling you how it is. No, 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 you know, get dead or get done. Like right. I, I already know, right off rip. Right. So, I mean, if that's the understanding that we both have, then that's fine. But at the same time, just, I mean, take me for who I am. Know that I'm woman enough to handle that either we just, this is what we doing, and you ain't got to pump my head up and fill me up, but, you know, trying to take a detour. Right. You know, because you think that I want, you know, something else deeper that, that, from you yeah, other yeah. than what it is. What it is, right. exactly. But instead, you build a false hope, you mm -hmm. telling lies, you giving a million mm -hmm. and one fucking excuses yeah. for no reason No reason at, at all. all. No reason but at all. But my thing is, at the end of the day, by shit. me being a woman and by me being up on my game, guess what? I, I can still smile. I can still text you, hey, boo. I can still... Have dick on deck when I want. Oh. At the end of the day, oh, I know how to spin you. <laughs> right. I know y'all get. I done played your hand. I done played it play. D -D. <laughs> right, D -D. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But since you, you know, you playing and you trying to juggle way too fucking much. I mean, like you end up fucking yourself in the mm -hmm. booty. Like really? Yeah. All because you won't open up your mouth and say what it is. Say what it is. What you say? Say what you mean and mean what you say. Mean what you say. Don't say shit at all. Exactly. How about that? Exactly. And a lot of motherfuckers dig that hole for themselves, dog. Because yeah. you sitting here offering lies, man. Offering lies, you yeah. offering lies, dog. Right. Look, look, baby girl. I got um, a minimum wage job. I catch the bus. <laughs> uh, shit, you wouldn't fuck with that shit. Right. You right. can I'll build be, some I'll shit. I'll finish your sentence yeah. for you. you know? I'm telling the truth. And you be like, no, no, that ain't it. Uh, uh, uh. No. No, that's what it exactly is. Exactly what it is. My thing is, just don't. It's a lot of people going around here having these kids and then they expect for the kid to come out a, a nice decent product and you jacking up because you got these two parents that's you know confused really about the whole entire the situation, whole situation yeah. and that affects your, your child's upbringing mm -hmm. so you have to yeah. really think about that Terrific. you want to produce a healthy child you want to mm -hmm. A healthy you know relationship, I mean? and too. you want your kid to have a healthy. That's why a lot of kids can't even concentrate at school and shit because they got stuff going on mentally, you know, from what's going on in the household, you know. And a lot of people don't take that into consideration. You do everything around your kids, you say anything around your children, mm -hmm. and then you like, well, where you learn that from? You ain't got that shit from you. <laughs> yeah, from you, right? Yeah, you sit. They like sponge. You sit right here and say shit, shit, shit. What you think they gonna say? Shit, exactly. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> and then not only that, then on, you be you be the the school could be calling you in terms of your child's um behaviorism and you trying to figure out why is it that you having so many problems out of your child because your child got the best of clothes, your child had the best of home living or whatever. They ain't got no love, but though. they ain't got no love. love they yeah. lacking love, so they go to school <laughs> fucking people up because yeah. mom and daddy, you know yeah, what whatever kind of behaviorism that you present before your children people that's the kind of behaviorism that you're gonna get out of your kids you know out in the marketplace yeah. just just keep that if your kids always seeing mom and daddy arguing or mom and daddy tearing up each other's stuff or but you, you know, know what? this is where i disagree with you with because from experience i've been there done that and at the same time i'm running far from it i got so much love to give and when I'm presented with an opportunity, you know, when I have a companion or whatever, and I'm set steadily giving myself or whatever, and they might expect, you know, some of those normal situations where a broad want to fight cuss and, you know, insinuate and, you know, right. bash them and all that. You suppress them. That's not even away. the case. Sometimes mm -hmm. a woman just standing there with her arms wide open like, okay, boo, let's do it. Me and <laughs> right. you team up. You yeah, know what right. I mean? But you're running all the fucking circles because you confused, you know, because you got so many lives out here that you're trying to live up to. I feel you. Hey, don't forget, man, we only got a few minutes left. If you're on U Strain, you got to hit us up. 760 283 4647. Hey, let's shoot back to the phone lines real quick, though. Uh, I got 313 673. You on live, straight from the E Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? Hello. 
Love Doe. 313-673. That's your that's your number. 90 seconds. Okay. 673. Alright, it must have changed their mind. Alright, but yeah, so shit, we only we only got a few minutes left anyway. But uh if you do want to say something though, uh six seven three, hit that number one key again so that I know that's uh that you really want to get on. But uh otherwise, like I say, if you're on U stream, you only got a couple more minutes. All right, we're going to shoot back to the phone lines real quick then. I got a uh, 313-808. You on live, straight from the E-Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? 60 seconds. Hey, what up, though? What up, What's cracking? Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes. Show sure can. I hear that. I hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hello? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, this candy can Hey. What up, I just got a couple of things I want to say, too. As far as what the last word you said, that's true, too. You know what I'm saying? But you got to look at the situation, how things are going nowadays, too. You got females who think if they had a baby, you're going to change your ways and you're going to want to be with them. Yeah, that's but true. But then again, it's a two-way street because it takes two to make a baby. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to be with her, why not go in and protect her? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You feel that good? Ten seconds. I mean, well, it, it do. <laughs> I can't lie, it do. It do. It do. It do. Yes, it does. It is an A1. It do. Yes, it I, I can't does. lie. Yes. A1. <laughs> that's consequences you have to deal with. And you know, you know, they, they, uh, you know a woman crazy before she get pregnant, so. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they had a good mask on, though. I don't know. Uh -huh. Sometimes they had that good what mask on. They had that mask on. You can't really tell sometimes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like snake, so you, you just kind of want to know it's a sign because Pussy takes Pussy Togus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might be right. You just don't want to recognize it. You might be right. <laughs> ah, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's what's up, though, baby. Hey, thanks for your call, Candy Kane. Appreciate when they call you. your phone, when they call your phone two, three times, and you don't answer, they just keep calling. Oh. Keep calling and texting. That's, that's how I say you do. That ain't nothing you do, is it, baby? Huh? I said that ain't something that you do, huh? baby. No, I don't got that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, right. I'm about to say you, you can hide, you can hear. That's what's up. Hey, well, shit, thanks for your call, though, baby. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's what's up, though. She said you should know that yeah, she's so, crazy. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you do. Sometimes you do, because, man, dude, I tell you, you're going to be nice. She can be cooking for you. Hooking you up, like coming through, give you that extra palm game, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that extra shit. Yeah. Then when you get with her, like damn, she feel like she ain't gotta get that, do that shit no more, cause she yeah. got your ass. Yeah, yeah, like fuck. Freddy Cougar, yeah, Freddy Cougar. Oh shit, I didn't see this shit. And then, and then, like, what she do say? A lot of bras have a keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
if a man asks you to marry them and you you say no, let me think about it, they're not gonna ask you to marry them no more. Yeah, I'm no. saying, but a woman, we're going to sit here, we're going to be patient, wait for you to ask us to marry him. And he could be two, three, four, five, fuck them, what about 10, 15 years later before you ask me to marry him? <laughs> How long is too long? You know what I'm saying? You say you want a female to be patient, you see her be patient. It could be 5, 10, 15 years on the line, you still yeah, with this yeah. same individual and they ain't asked you to marry him. And then when they do ask you, you don't say yeah, they ain't never asking you again. They, I mean, so really, guys are true. impatient as well because when they, when they get to that point where they feel like, oh, this is what I want to do, if you ain't on the same boat with them, they will fucking leave your ass for sure. Like, do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, but that's because that's because women come out the they when they come out the pussy, they ready to get married. Yep. So that means if I'm That's I mean, not always true, though, Q. That's not always true. Yeah, yes, but hey, 90 percent is close true. enough. Ninety percent still get you an A. Yeah. Ninety percent is still close enough. Yeah. You come out the room I mean, trying I to get married. I mean, I ain't even gonna say my y'all would say seventy five. I'm gonna say seventy five percent of women when they give up the pussy, they be looking to get married. I ain't gonna say ninety. Fuck that. Every every I mean there's some dog it's some dog females out here that that's just out here fucking for fun that ain't looking for shit. So it, it ain't, I'm not gonna say that ninety percent Shit, shit. It's out just to get married. It ain't. It ain't even about the kids. Is is every woman that's listening to the show right now probably would be cool if they were married right now. Yeah. Ninety percent of the niggas yeah. listening to the show it's don't give a fuck about being married right now. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's some crazy wives out here that be rolling up on the set and, and busting out windows and and checking through your car and doing crazy shit like that girlfriend. You can't say that. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I definitely agree with that, but I'm just saying there's more women that's that's so ready to get married. So when I when I come to the point that I'm ready to get married, I ask you and you ain't ready, that's some bullshit. No, yeah. I'm not waiting. No. <laughs> shit. And I'm not going to ask you yet, that's some <laughs> Hey, that's, that's real life. All I'm saying Sometimes is, all I'm saying is I, I feel like I'm ready to get married, but at the same time, I'm not going to get married for the wrong reason. And the wrong reason would be because I had your baby. To me, that would be the wrong reason. If I don't genuinely love you, I'm not gonna do it. And first of all, I'm too old to be having a baby by you to keep you or uh, just because I got pregnant. Nah, I re I know what it feels like to have a baby. I know what it's like to raise a baby. So if I don't have strong feelings for you, I don't see me longevity with you. I'm not about to go through what I have to go through to have a baby with you. Right. Flat out. That's what's up. That's what's up. So uh, I mean, if I if I Sacrifice my life and my body to have a baby with you. God damn it, you uh, some crazy might jump out when you get to acting crazy. I'm gonna jump crazy. So what do you consider? <laughs> what do you consider acting crazy on his end? And if he asked you to marry you now, I mean, are you in a relationship with anybody? No. Nope. So if he if if do you have children with somebody right now? You say what? Are you a, a, a mother? Are you a baby mama? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so if your if your one of your kids' father, do you have one that baby daddy, or do you have? No, I got multiple baby daddies. Okay. So, do any of them that you like were involved with? If any of them came back to ask you to marry, would you marry? Them? No, because my thing is right here, I mean, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not, I'm, I ain't going to say I'm not in a relationship. I'm in a relationship, but it's not a valid one right at this point. But if you in my past, you are in my past, okay? My first kid father, yes, he asked me to marry him. I told him yes, but at the same time, he was not ready to marry me like he asked, but he was not ready. He still wants to play the field. I'm not going to walk into no bullshit-ass marriage. So I let that go. You know what I'm saying? Then the second time around, I, I did the bullshit and had the baby just because I was pregnant. I, you know, my family ganged up on me for me to have the baby. So I'm like, fuck you, I'm going to have the baby. But this last time around, it was all love involved on my end. I'm not about to have a baby at this age for nobody else but for myself and for love. Flat out. So if he asked me to marry him, yes, I would marry him. I'm ready to. But if he's not ready, I can't force my man to marry me. I can't force my man to be committed to me. None of that. Flat up. So here's the thing. What the fuck? What, how did y'all get on marriage, first of all? <laughs> we, just, we just talk. We was just we just talking. And you well, know what? And, and, and we, and we talking too long because the show been over. Stand with somebody. 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 Stand with somebody
somebody, you know, whether you love them because of the kid. Just because you married don't mean that you want love. A lot of people get married and they exactly. Yeah, that's I agree what the topic with that. is, right? If you, if yeah. you, you uh, say what? Well, don't validate that. Right. Oh shit. I can't hear what you said. Oh my bad. She was talking in the background. Right. She's <laughs> she talking in the background. I mean, I thought I thought we were talking about why people are not getting married when once you find out this person is pregnant and having your baby, why why is the marriage rate down? What, what is oh, no, about? no, basically I mean not just marriage, just period. Like would you would you stay with somebody that you really didn't love just because you had a kid? Not necessarily getting married, but just staying together, period. Which that's kinda that's kinda crazy too, because you said but that your family I, pressured you to, to have a kid or whatever. Is that is that healthy though? Too? I was young. See, I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm fully grown woman. Am I in control of me. Me, my mother could influence me to do anything. Hell, she told me to jump off a fucking bridge. I probably would have did it. I'm listening to my mom flat out. No, I feel. But I'm at this point in time in my life. Can't nobody tell me what to do with Crystal. I'm going to take care of me, and I'm going to make the best decision for me. No oh, shit. We, you know we, use a, we use a government name. Damn. I'm just saying. I, really, that's what happened. That's, that's what happened to me. And my kids, and I do have three baby babies, but my kids are far apart. They're not their step kids. They're five years apart, both all three of them. So it's not like... The last set is four years apart, so it's not like I'm sitting here with a three-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. We ain't working with that. You know what right. I'm saying? I, and, and control is me. I feel I feel I ain't, I see what... Well, thanks, but thanks. no, I'm not about to say, I'm not about to let nobody dog me to the ground because I had their baby. I mean, shit happened. After you have a baby with somebody, even when y'all are real extra, extra tight, you think that's going to make y'all tighter or closer. It means then that it does not make them closer or tighter or whatever. I'm going to have to walk away from because I'm not going to let nobody take me all the way off my square to that degree that I'm just being dog up and play. Yeah. I'll go through some shit with somebody if I love them and I really want to be with them, but I'm not about to let you take me all the way down, like six feet under down. Yeah, no, I'm straight. yeah for sure. For sure. Yeah, definitely. That's why I say I think people got to at least start, you know, giving it the effort before they just dip. You feel me? That's all I was saying. Yeah, I'm most, I'm most definitely putting my efforts forth. I'm not giving up easy, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody's perfect. No relationship is perfect. And you got to go through something with whoever you with. So yeah. why not let it be the person that I did have a kid with? Yeah. But in the event that if the battle is too, too much fucking strong for me, I know when to walk away. I can do that. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up with shit, uh, Thanks for your call, baby. Even though you waited to down at 8 o'clock to call, the shit's right. all good, though. <laughs> you gotta call me every time, all right? Yeah, you already know. All right, peeky out this bitch. Peeky right. out this bitch. I peeky out this bitch. All right, peeky out this bitch. That's what's up, man. So, I guess it's consistent, though. Everybody say that, you know, it ain't really, it ain't worth it to stay involved if, if ain't no love. I mean, back in the day, shit, that, that wasn't the case. So, it was like, even if you didn't love and you had that family, you just had to roll with it. So, these yeah, days, like you, know, you say, sure you know it it's just uh, a... It's just different, huh? But like I said, if you got like three old people, if you got like three, a group of th two couples uh -huh. that's old or whatever, yeah. they ain't going to... Tell you it was peaches and cream. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I know it ain't. Mm -hmm. But they, they stuck it out anyway. Yes, they did. Right. And we got, hey, look, dog, we, the show all we late as hell oh, still is, is one more G? caller, though. Is that 2G, buddy? No, that's oh, another oh. call. We got, a, uh, <laughs> we got 313. That's the same. That's one from last time. I got 313-673. We're going to try it again, man, real quick. You on live, straight from the E-Block. How about your boy? What up, though? What up, E-Block? What, what up, up though? though? Um, just calling to see what's going on with this marriage situation and people not getting together to stay together for a long time. What's this short-term shit going on? What y'all got going on today? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're trying to see if you have a baby in a relationship. Is it worth staying even if you don't love your partner no more? I know I ain't gonna say what just because I got a kid with him here now. What purpose is that? For the good of the kid, man, to make a family structure. What happened to that? Uh, for the good of the kid. Yeah. The things people the things we sacrificed already on a day to day basis, I'm not about to sacrifice myself to be in the midst of with a man to make my child happy. My child could be happy just by okay, yeah, you can go visit your dad. No, we're not together. I will explain that to my child. Hey. I mean but it's just, a way to do things. Just like we can still have a family structure without us being in the same household. 
I'm not about to sit there and be in the midst of your company and you're not ready to commit to me. What's the best of that? And then you still up here on the other side of the world committing your ass to somebody else. <laughs> 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 well, no, I mean, I mean, how about, how about a, a you mutual? You know, I'm about to have me sitting at home looking like Betty Boo. Come on, some nice boo. Yeah, the baby in your hair. Come on over. And you think I'm supposed to be just with you and we still be a mutual friends. But if I have another man come over, oh, it's a problem. But you still up here on the side of your world, living your life, and you moved on. Uh, uh-uh, uh, we're not going to do that. Right. So I, I'm talking about I'm talking about a mutual commitment to build a family. What, whatever I happened to that? Mutual commitment. Mutual commitment. Yep. You mutual. can go to your dad's house or wherever your dad got a neighbor situation, so you can go visit. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> but I'm not going to be mutual where I'm still every relationship. You see, you can come bumping around when you want to and boop boop and uh, uh-uh. uh, no. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. That's, that's what's up. That's one hundred. That's one. Yeah. Hey, we let's... get phone calls every day. Some of some um, pull out the black book. What's going on? Pull up in front of my house, trying to get booty calls and shit. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Don't be with some woman. You pick the woman you want to be with. Don't be with her. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up, buddy. Hey, right, well, shit up. Well, well, thanks for your call because we, we had tried to get you earlier, but I guess you had hung up on us. I don't know what happened. What? Uh, my mama called from Georgia and I had to click over, so I'm sorry. <laughs> my phone just ran back and I was like, okay, damn, I'm still online. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, though. What's hey, hey, what's well, shit up? Thanks for your call, I have to baby. I'm calling back before it gets too late. Who was everybody that's there? Everybody. Everybody, everybody. everybody and their mama. Everybody. Everybody. When I come, when I come yeah. busy. Say, you can come through. I'm in Alabama right now. I, I heard about y'all things, oh, so my family member passed it on to me. So when I come to the D, I'm gonna come see y'all. All right. All right, come What's on, us, baby. What? All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we gonna get up out of here though, cause yeah. it's eight o'clock, man. Yeah, I'm about to walk over there and kick peaches. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <a good question. laughs> and then how many dogs you got with your cat? Hey, yo, hey, look. So we had, we had a good ass, we had a good ass show today though. But uh, hey, did you? We might take a look at that one topic though. Yeah. For how long yeah, you awake? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What's too, what's too soon or too long? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we gonna do next week, dog. We gonna do that though. That's it. We got to start him up, money. Who? It's not about me. Ah. <laughs> so, right, it wasn't even yours, though. I know, I started that shit for somebody. Right. <laughs> hey, man, we already overdid our time, man. We up out of here, dog. You know what it is, man. Straight from the E-Block, live every Tuesday, 6 30, 7 30, dog. Holla. It's your boy, the hood, uh, Howard Stern, Q Lewis. My money. Say, shout out to Peaches. Cheetah. <laughs> Are we back to Cheetah now? Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, boy. Yo, yo, shout out. Get us up out of here, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.